Good morning, yogis. Good morning, good morning. I didn't charge my mic this time, so we're gonna see what happens here. Hopefully it doesn't die. I've been charging it for like 10 minutes. Because <laughs> it gets really echoey when I walk away from the computer. Okay, so who's out there with me today? Thank you for joining me I'm here every Sunday. I didn't have a chance to drink my coffee either, so I'll get this done. Let's give it a couple of minutes in case anyone joins us. Mr. B, come here. What up? Thanks. Well, that's nice. Good morning, Jeanette. I know it's a beautiful day outside. I've already been out with the dog for a few minutes. It's just gorgeous out there today. You're lucky. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Buddy, come here, please. Can you stop chasing your light? No. Come over here. Come, buddy. <laughs> Come over here. You're such a goof. What a guy. Yeah, just get it out. Just get it out. It's okay. There we go. Good morning, everybody. That's regular routine if you haven't seen that before. <laughs> he gets really overworked up by the by the live streams. Yeah. Chases your leg. Is it out? Oh, good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, good, good. Nice. Okay. Now we're calm. <laughs> Better get it at the beginning. Okay, so we're almost at 9.05. We will start. Um, please come on to your mat in child's pose. Cool. Come on. Do that. Do that. All right, so come into child's pose. If you're watching this later, uh, my name is Mike. I do every Sunday morning, I do a 9 a.m. live stream, so I upload these after they're done. So maybe you're practicing with me live right now. Welcome. Welcome if you are. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It's nice and sunny outside. And uh, if you're practicing later on, it's a 60 minute journey into power sequence, Baptiste style yoga. Um, you just flow, kind of go with the flow and just get your body moving Sunday morning or whatever you're doing. Yeah. So chop close, knees nice and wide, big toes touching, and then settle back onto your heels. Right away, start to bring more intention to your breath. Louder. Make it longer. You keep breathing. I just realized I didn't put the mic on. Just using your breath here really as a way to land, yeah? Whatever you've got going on outside of your yoga practice today, later on, in your morning or your day, just like leaving those things off your mat for the 60 minutes. It's really getting intentional, getting present. Do that through your breath. A few more breaths together. Full inhale. Full exhale. Do that again. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Press back onto your heels. Come up onto your hands and your knees. Let's take a couple cat cows here. On your inhale, cat pose, cow pose, sorry. Look up to the ceiling. Point your tailbone up, and then cap the exhale. Press the floor around your back. Do a couple more of those. Cow. And cat. Shoulders back, look up. And then press the floor, chin to your chest, belly button to your spine. Neutral spine. Push your hips back to downward facing dog. And then land here in your down dog. 
first down dog of your day, maybe. And just feeling out your hands, feeling out your feet. Let me get intentional through your foundation. Press every knuckle. Draw your inner ankles back, press your outer ankles down. Grounding. Grounding down through your feet. Breathe in. Soften your joints here. Make sure you're not locking out elbows or knees. Just really feeling your body out physically. How are you landing on your mat right here? Bring your feet together. Put your right foot up. Three-legged dog. Bend your knees. Stack your hips. Open through the side of your body. A bottom leg. Firm it up. Press down through your heel. Soften your knee, right? That's not where the rigidity comes from. Work your muscles. Press the floor. Lift your right knee higher. Wiggle out your toes and your ankle. Just want to wake it up. Switch sides. This first pose is integration, really getting integrated into your yoga practice, right? Integrating mind, body, breath. Start to dial in. Lift your left knee up. You can move. In that top foot, take one more inhale, and then you'll step to the top of your mat. Ragdoll. Yeah, feet hip distance apart. Grab your elbows or your biceps. Just lift the upper body wall. Just sway from side to side. So you feel out your body. What does it need? Right? And in these moments of rest, that's really what the work is, is getting clear on what your body needs to experience rest. Resting as fully as you can so that you have the strength in the next moment to work, right? Balance it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fingertips down to your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Then come up to a flat back. On your inhale, lengthen your spine. Shoulder blades draw onto the back. And then fold forward. One more time, flat belly and then fold. Extended mountain pose, reach to the ceiling. Hands to your heart center, gaze to your fingers. We'll take one home together. Breathe in. Sweep your arms up, reach your fingertips, and then fold forward. Halfway lift. High plank and hold. Start to build up a little heat here. Yeah, feel that. Press your hands into the floor. Soften the elbows, though. Yeah, they don't lock out. Yeah, you want to feel that, like, micro bend. Shoulders are over your wrists. Don't come too far forward or too far back. Right, get that. Stack joints. Couple more breaths, drop your bum down. You can have be on your knees if you need that. Fire up your arms, like press the floor, squeeze inner biceps. Take one more breath in, lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog. Lift your thighs up off the mat, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Draw your inner ankles to the back of your mat. Press your feet down. Full breath in. Soften the joints. Three breaths. Keep them loud. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Upper step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine, belly in, and then four. Extended mountain, press your feet, reach to the ceiling, and then full hug your chest to your thighs. Flat back, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank, with control, belly strong, press the floor to lift up, 
we're facing dog, downward facing dog, take your hips back, breathe in, breathe out, ground them down, your core muscles, Uddiyana Bandha, pull that in, belly to spine, knit in your lower ribs, keep that all engaged, take a breath in, take a breath out, lift up under your toes, bend your knees, look forward, hop or step between your hands. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine, hold, extend it down, go up, and start to go back. Keep your core engaged, reach to the back of your mat, pull forward, hug into your legs. Halfway lift, Charanga Dandasana, it's a low plank. Upward facing dog, lift, press the floor, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Fill up. And empty. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop or step forward. Flat back. Lengthen. Hold. Extended mat. One more. Go up. Go back. Keep reaching. And then fold forward, hug, chest to thigh, squeeze in, halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, move with your breath. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, hop to the top of your mat, flat back, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down into it and stay. Just check in. Glance down to your knees. Yeah, I just did a knee workshop and knee flow last week. You can check that out on my channel. But um, if you can not see your toes, then you've probably gone too far, right? You want to see, like, your knees don't ever go past your toes, regardless of if you have good or bad knees. Keep them back, right? So shin bones back. Your bum might come up a little bit. That's okay. Still feel that work, right? I feel that. Scoop your tailbone. Maybe that'll let you come a little bit deeper. Really squeezing the muscles of the legs. Press down into the mounds of your toes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel the heat in your legs. Right? Your core. Fire up your breath. Maybe even sit like deeper, deeper if you can. Squeeze in. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Just you got it. Yeah, breathe through it. Lift your chest, fold over your legs. Ooh, halfway left. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right foot between your hands, warrior one. Ground your feet, firm up the legs. Lunge down into your front knee. That back foot, don't forget about your back leg, press the outer edge of the foot. Hug muscles to the bones, lunge deeper. Inhale. And exhale. Square the hips here. Yeah, draw the right hip back. Like the left hip guiding it forward. Sink deeper into your lunge from there. A couple more breaths. Fire up the legs. Fire up the core. Fire up your breath. One more. Go up. You can start to go back a little bit. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog, down, ground your feet, breathe in, set it up from feet, core, hands, like whole body, present, square the hips, breathe. What do you do that? Don't suffer through it. Breathe through it, in and out. Again, breathe, press down. One more, go up, go back. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward, downward facing dog. The full breath in, open your mouth and let it go. Ha! And then just land. Moments to rest. Take them. Press down. Soften the joints. 
Bring your belly in. Press your tailbone back. Move onto your toes. Bend your knees. Look between your hands. Hop between your hands. Use your core. Squeeze. Land lightly. Halfway lift. And full. Extended. Oh, sure. <laughs> Sit down into your seat. Nice and deep. Lengthen the upper body. And then full. Hug into your thighs. Halfway lift. Long spine. Squeeze. Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low plank. Step or shoot back to a low plank. Upward facing dog. Lift your thighs. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. From your feet, press, blow it out. Move with your breath. Facing dog, lift. Downward facing dog. Left side. Ground the feet, lengthen, squeeze the pit of the belly. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, lift. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Louder breath. Longer. Keep lengthening it. Every time you get a chance to rest. Fill up. Press down. Lift up onto your toes. Look between your hands. Bend the knees. Hug muscles to bones and then pounce to the top of your mat. Halfway lift right away. Pull. Chair. One breath. Sit low. And then fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana, step or shoot back. Upward facing dog, lift, press the floor. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one, press down, reach, go up, go back, keep reaching. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. You can float your right toes. Up dog, downward facing dog. Left side, then Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Float the toes. Up dog, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, take a full breath out. Again, press down. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Put your right foot up, meet your nose. Shift forward, hug in, go back up. Meet a nose. Like a high plank, pull it in towards your forehead, round, squeeze, lift back up. Again, knee to nose, hug in. And go back up, breathe in. Crescent lunge, step through. And then lift up. Breathe in. Sink down into your front knee. This back leg active, yeah? So don't let it kind of, I can't even pretend. I can't even let it dip down because this is like my, um, I need it as an injury in it. So I have to keep active, right? Like lifting up through the kneecap, lifting up through the back heel. The front knee, you lunge there, sink down into it. Keep your core muscles engaged, like fire those up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands to heart center. Lengthen forward and twist. Keep the engagement through your center, through your core. Your shoulders, wrap them back. Breaths in and out. Keep active. Squeeze skin to muscle, muscle to bone in both legs. One more, lengthen. Bring out the twist. Warrior two. Open up. Sink down into it. Settle in to your front knee. Soft the shoulders, let them drop back, down, breathe. And if your thoughts take you somewhere else, come back to it. that if you suffer if you want to be in the next pose can you be here more fully five breaths press your feet squeeze 
Ease your inner thighs. Feel shaking if it's there. Feel instability. Feel wobble. Feel like fire in your muscles. Just embrace it. Maybe go deeper. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Extended side angle. Good work, Yogi. Whew. I had a story this morning that I wasn't going to be able to work that hard. I've been doing a lot of yoga, I feel like, in the last couple of weeks and like just getting out of the story. Your body is stronger and more capable than you think it is, for sure. Like, for sure it is. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Half bind. Take your top hand to your low back, left hand on your low back, your sacrum. You can stay here, right? You can have your elbow on your knee. This might feel great. You want a full bind, take the right arm underneath your right thigh. Go for the fingertips behind your back. If you do Bird of Paradise, go for it. I'm going to stay here today. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lengthen and twist. One more big, big breath. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. And let your knees. Take your left foot up to the ceiling on the breath in. Knee to your nose, shift forward, squeeze and engage. Go back. Knee to nose, hug it in, press your hands, pull the pit of your belly, go back up. One more, knee to nose, hug it in, pull it in, and then lift back up. Step two, crescent lunge. Lift up with your fingertips. Just engage through the legs. Don't let the back knee dip down. Lift it. Drop the heel forward. Sink deeper in that front knee if there's space. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands to heart center. Lengthen. And twist. Keep the shoulder integration. Draw them onto the back. Lengthen the spine. There's instability. Find the stability. Engage muscles. Right, lift that back heel. Pull in through the pit of the belly. Take another breath in. Stay twisted out. Warrior two, open up. And just get right into it. And if there's a story of like, oh, we held so long, all of that stuff might pop up, just drop it. Yeah, be here. Different side, different breath. Different moment. Just be here. Breathing. The inside might be different. You might have to like straighten that leg for a second, right? Who cares? Just do that. It's not failure unless you make it failure. How quick can you come back? Compassion for your body can be resting, can be working, right? Your body needs the work. It craves it. Your brain might forget sometimes. I don't mind those. Sink deeper. Five breaths. Pull in the leg muscles, the core. In and out. Squeeze. Stay. Couple more breaths, fire up the legs, soften the shoulders, take one more breath in and out, hold your pose, inhale, extended side angle. Nicely done. I don't even have to see you to know that it was good. And if you needed to rest, amazing. If you stayed the whole time, amazing. Your practice. Half bind, full bind, wherever you're going in this pose, take it on. Drop judgment, drop comparison to how it's been before, how my practice looks, how someone else with your, like in the room looks doing their practice maybe, right? Just be in your own body, your twist, your legs, your feet, right? Find those, take a full inhale. Chaturanga Dasana, plant your hands and lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And let your knees feel that work that you just did. 
Come to a high plank. Side plank, spin your heels to the right, take the left arm up first. Lift up through your hips. Spark your toes, your fingers. Take your top leg into tree. So go out just like in tree, you don't want to press the side of the knee. It's above or below the knee. Don't focus, don't fix it on getting into your inner thigh. You'll feel this in your calf. Press the bottom leg up into the foot. Press the top foot into the leg. Inhale and exhale. Lift higher, lift your hips. Press that foot and the calf into each other. Take one more big breath in. Hold it here, high plank. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Low plank. Release upper and lift the knees. And come forward. High plank. Other side. Right arm goes up. Gaze up. Whoop. Flex the feet. Top leg comes into tree. Activate that. Yeah, you're not just pressing down and hurting that bottom knee. You want to resist it. You want to lift the knee. Lift the bottom leg. Engage through your core. Take another couple breaths up. And if you fall out, you just come back. Breathe in and lift up. Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Let your knees. Breathe. High plank. We're going to do it again. Side plank. Spin your heels to the right. Left arm up. This time option for wild thing or any other variation. So wild thing, you lift the top leg up. Yeah, and then from there, you bend your top knee and step your foot behind you. Kind of like flip dog, but not. <laughs> so you're here on the... Pinky toe edge of the right foot, and then your left tippy toes. And then from here, starting to lift the right hip bone up to the ceiling, and reach the left arm to the front of your mat. Wild thing. Five breaths. Wherever you are, any variation. Yeah, and just be in it, please, yeah? Don't check out. Don't give up. Come back. Begin again. Find your fullest expression. High flank. Whew. Low flank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Do that on the other side. Come forward. Spin your heels. Lift the top leg. Option for a wild thing. Step the foot behind you. And then right here, it's lifting up to the left hip. So both hips trying to square to the ceiling. Press that bottom hand down. Reach your right fingertips forward. A couple of breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Lift and squeeze. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step to the top of your mat. And come into fingers to toes. Forward fold. So you'll scoop up your big toes with your peace fingers. Feet are hip distance apart, a little wider. Don't let your upper body go. Really do that rest. Soften the joints. Don't walk out of your knees here. Things fluid, malleable. Now we're resting, right? So where does your mind go? Are you able to focus here on rest and release? Where your body needs that support? Where you can channel your breath to? Is that where the attention is or is it elsewhere, right? Do you wander in thought as soon as a fold happens? This is still a pose, Yogi. Dial back in. Right? Present to breath. Lengthen the backs of your legs, press your feet, lift your tail, breathe in, breathe out. And lengthen your neck, let your head dangle down. Empty your lungs. 
set your feet back up in true north. So big toes touch or almost touch. For me with my knees, it feels a bit better with my feet a bit wider actually. Not too wide, right? Just a couple inches between my big toes. Same thing though, where the parallel, um, the edges of your feet are parallel to the edges of your mat. So that's how you take your heels a little wider than your toes and that'll do that for you. Sit down in the chair. Scoop your tail down a little bit, engage core muscles, sink a little deeper, hands to heart center, twist to your right side, stay active through the legs here, right? That left knee will try to get loose and pop forward, draw it back, squeeze the core, and then lift your chest, your belly up off your thigh, lengthen through the spine, lengthen, and then twist, more, inhale, exhale, feel your legs, work with them. Breathe into them. Stay. Center. Twist to the other side. We're going. We're going to stay. Yes. Breathe through it. Five breaths. You got it. Inhale. And exhale. Lengthen. Draw the right knee cap back and it's popping forward. Stay here and breathe. Support it. Muscles, the bones, the bandhas locked in place. Lengthen and twist. And release. Fingers down. Hips up. You have distance apart, gorilla pose, palms underneath your feet. Let go of the weight of your head. Just let that dangle down. Breathe. Where can you soften more? your body, maybe in your mind, if your mind keeps wandering to something, figure out what it is, acknowledge it, don't have to ignore it, but think about it later, right, let it go, right here in your practice, it's just breath and rest, release, that's the work. Another full breath in, another full breath out. Release your feet. It's bear pose this morning. So take your feet hip distance apart. It's a great pose. It works the same muscles as curl, really, but you don't have to come up off the ground. So feet hip distance, palms flat on the mat right in front of your feet. You already know this pose, get into it. Don't waste time, yogis, yeah. And then take a nice deep bend in the knees so you can sit down and you're aiming to get your knees on the backs of your triceps. So make sure that your knees hit the backs of the triceps, similar to where you're going to crow, or should be going to crow, right? The backs of the triceps, not outside here. Press triceps and knees into each other a lot. Ground into your hands and feet so they're active. They're not just touching the ground, but you're pressing them down. It's a good start. Feel your inner thighs start to squeeze into the sides of your body. So as you press knee triceps, you're also activating inner thighs, hugging in. Belly button up to spine. Oh, I feel shaking happening. So good, right? Like do that. Get the amount of like work that you can add in here. Might not have to shake or wobble, but like work, press, squeeze. This is supported bear, right? Full expression is arms forward. And that connection of your side body and your inner thighs is important here if you're doing this. Really pull in, squeeze the sides of your body. It's isometric, three breaths in and out. Press, squeeze, lift your upper arm bones to the ceiling, big inhale. Hands to your mat, do that first and then lift your hips up, feel your legs. Really good, you can kind of like pedal one knee and then the other, just like sway your hips from side to side. Bring your feet back to touch. Big toes touch, heels apart. Halfway lift. Fold. Sweep all the way up. <laughs> Reach up. Take eagle on your right side. So right arm goes under. Right leg goes over the left. Your option here again is um, in the arms. So you can take like um, pressing the forearms into each other. 
here. So wherever you're going, squeeze it in. Sink down into that standing leg, engage the muscles to support it. Breathe in. Your core muscles, Uddiyana Bandha, locked in. One more. Sink deeper. Sweep up. Switch sides. Eagle. Where Mike is dead. You just stay where you are. I'm just going to take this off because it's like, it doesn't need to be here. Sound quality might not be the best this week, everyone. Sorry about that. Breathe a couple more breaths right where you are. In and out. Fill up and empty. Switch sides. Equal on the right. Go back. Do it again. Right side, right arm under, right leg over. Focus forward. Pull into center here. Squeeze in. Take a breath here. Fold. Sleeping eagle. Nice and slow. Hug elbows to knees, inner thighs, biceps. Everything squeezes in. Stay here for your exhale. Airplane on the breath in. Unravel. Lengthen. Lift your chest. Press your heels straight back. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lift the back heel more. Lift your chest even higher. You might get wobbly. That's okay. Really activate that bottom leg. Press the floor. Lift up into your core. Take one more inhale here. Hands to heart center. Half moon, great place for a block. Just to bring the floor a bit closer if you need it. Stack your hips here so the right hip comes up over the left and then reach up with your fingertips. Reach up with your top foot. Gazing up will make it feel lighter, but that might also make you feel unstable, right? If you get too light, get a little wobbly, that's okay, play with it. Chalpasana, sugar cane is an option. You can bend the top leg, reach for that ankle. Wherever you can go, take your fullest expression. A couple more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Lift, squeeze, and release. Feet together. Hold. Sweep all the way up. Take the other side. Eagle. Left arm under, left leg over. Engagement here. You squeeze in. Stabilize it. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen, stay, one more belly, core, hug it in, hinge forward, sleeping eagle, breathe in, breathe out, airplane, open up, feel that back leg is long, really press through the back heel, turn the pinky toe down to the floor. Press that bottom foot onto the ground, right? Like activate that leg, lift it. That's where the support is coming from. So imagine locust pose on your one foot, right? So you're lifting through the chest, lifting through the back heel, squeeze in, activate it. Take one more breath here. Hand to heart center, open to your half moon. Lift the top leg, lift the top arm. Stack open your hips. Whoop, you might fall out. That's okay. Come back, right? Begin again. Where you put your eyes is important. Like, focus your gaze intentionally. As you move your eyes up to the ceiling, don't rush it. Find one point to look at. A few more breaths. Your fullest expression. It could be sugar cane here. Possibility. Lift. Stay here, one more breath, biggest expression, and release, full forward. Well done, yeah, sweep all the way up to the ceiling. Take tree on the right side. So you pose your foot, it can either be, you know, inner calf, it can be inner thigh, you can get it up there. Don't take it on the side of your knee, please, above or below the knee. Press in. Any variation of tree, grow it. That foot comes down, the bottom foot, like your bent leg, if it disconnects, bring it back up. Inhale. And exhale. Grow your tree, open up the bent knee. 
Reach up with your fingertips, your chest, the crown of your head. Take one more breath and release. Tree pose on the left side. I'm doing so much yoga and I'm like this left because I've just been working it so much. But it's been a listening, right? Sometimes your body needs a break. So just modifying, listening, breathing into those areas of your body, right? If you send the attention there, honestly, that's where the energy flows. I know it works for me, right? Focus on the area of your body that needs support. Like where you feel you need extra strength, extra engagement, put your attention, put your breath there. Even if your eyes are somewhere else, you don't have to look at it, right? You feel it. And then release, hands to heart center. Sweep your arms up to the ceiling, lengthen your upper body, fold forward. Halfway lift, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come forward to high plank, lower all the way down. No rush. And then you'll lift up into locust pose. So take your arms back, palms facing the floor, and then you'll lift yourself up here. So arms, chest, legs, everything lifts. Take a full breath in. Take a full breath out. Shoulders back. Feel that. Engage your shoulders. Lift your heels, your legs, your thighs. Take one more breath in. And release. Come all the way down. Sway your hips. Let's take a skydiver pose today. Cactus your arms. So arms are cactus, a 90 degree bend at the elbow. Take your legs into Supta Baddha Kanasta legs. So you bend the knees and take the feet to touch, like a diamond shape with the legs. Just feel that. Compress your feet into each other. Actively open your knees. You don't have to lift yet, and then take the chin to center. You'll lift up here. So it's a skydiver position. I think this is what they tell you to do when you skydive. I don't know. I've never skydived. <laughs> but feel the lift here. So elbows lift. Press your feet together and open through the thighs. Lift your legs up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your core. Right core is supporting the low back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift everything higher. Squeeze, and then come down. Nicely done. And she'll wipe your legs for a moment. Hands by the low ribs. Take upward facing dog on your inhale. Downward facing dog. Step through onto your back. Take bridge or wheel. If you're feeling wheel today, go right up into it. Yeah, just do that. So bridge here, grounding through the backs of the triceps. You just lift up the hips. Your heels, you want to make sure you can... Um, Connect your fingertips to your heels. That's like the right alignment there. And then press down your heels. Drive your hips high. Pressing down to the backs of the triceps here. You want to keep active there. Shoulders. Squeeze. right, Or it can be wheel. You just go right up if that's where you want to go. Take your biggest back bend. Breathe in it. Don't worry about how long it is. Don't worry about how many we're doing, right? You just go up. Trust that your body will take you into the right pose. Don't like analyze it. Like, oh, there might be this many, so I'll do this for the first couple. And then like all of that takes you out of this moment. Where can you be here? Breathing, present, like the tapas, the heats, the fire in the body. Any variation that you have, your back bend practice, you're taking that on right now, right? And if you're waiting for me to like cue up and down and all of that, you might be waiting, right? Just come and be in the post. Bridge or wheel or any variation of a back bend that you practice. And you just stay doing that work, right? Peaking your practice right here. Hands, feet. Core, your full body is dialed in so your brain doesn't have any room to take you out. Five breaths. Right here. Go up. Your fullest possible expression of a back bend right here, right now. Take a full inhale. 
and then slowly help all the way down. Sutta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide. Place your right hand on your belly, your left hand on your heart, and close your eyes. And just breathe. Catching yourself when your mind takes you somewhere else. Analyzing, like thinking what it should be like, what you wish it was like. Or just embracing how it is. Right? Missing out an opportunity and what's happening because you're focused on how you want it to be. Suffering through what's happening instead of looking for what's possible in that moment. And if that's what happened, amazing. Be aware of it and come back right here, rest. Soften your thoughts. Never about judgment. It's never about being critical to yourself. Just when that comes up, you're aware of it. And the choice to let it go. Full breath in together. Out. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze here. Make some little circles with the knees. The other direction. Press your heels up to the ceiling. Yeah, hands under your low back. Let's do this today. So start just in the regular foot alignments, the true north. Big toes, like the mounds of your big toes press into each other. Heels are apart, but you activate the feet here. So flex the feet. Toes down, heels press up, right? So it's not just kind of like that your legs are hanging there. Really wake them up. Toe mounds press, and then you ground and lift up through the heels. Breathe in. Lower down a third. Keep your legs active. Skin pulling to muscle, muscle pulling to bone. The bun does like lock them in. Breathe in. Back on the spine. Lower down, spread them out. One inch off the mat. Look at your toes. Just hold here, actually. Let's do that. Let's do three breaths in. And out. Spread your toes. Work on that yogi toes. Like make space between every toe. Flex feet back towards your face. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Slowly lift your heels. Lift your toes. Lift all of your feet. <laughs> Take your big toes are still touching, but you're going to open your heels wider now. So it's kind of creating an, an internal rotation of the legs, right? You open up the heels, turn in your thighs. Hands are still under your low back. Take a breath in. Flex the toes down. Stay here. Activate your feet more. Make sure they're awake. Breathe in. Lower down a third. Heels as wide as they can go. You're really actively making that internal rotation. Inhale. Down a third. Breathe in. One inch off the mat. Look at your toes. Make some little circles. Keep the wide heels for three, two, and one. Other direction. Little circles. Make those for three. For two, heels wide and one, go up slowly. Last one's my favorite, heels together, toes wide. So it's different now. So now it's an external. We're turning the thighs out, right? So heels press together, heels lift up. Keep the hands under the low back for that support. Breathe in. Really press heels, really activate. That's just like the most active yet. Zipper legs, keep your heels as wide as you can. Heels press into each other, down a third. Breathe in. One inch off the mat. Look at your toes. Little bounce up and down here for 10, 9, 8, 7. Squeeze core in for four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Take a full breath in. Sigh out the drama. Oh my God. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I need to let it go. Right? I'm doing so much core. Amazing. Half pigeon or thread the needle. So you can stay on your back here and you can do thread the needle. This is right ankle on the left knee. Draw your left thigh into your chest. It's called reclined pigeon as well. And then if it's half pigeon, flip over. Take a half pigeon today. Whatever you need. Staying on your back just kind of takes gravity out of the equation a little bit more. 
don't have all that weight of your body pressing down to open the hip, which sometimes is amazing and sometimes maybe too much. Settle into it and just breathe here, yeah. If your thoughts try to take you somewhere else, acknowledge them, thank them for whatever it is they're trying to show you, but then come back, feel your body resting on your mat. Feel your breath. Tap back into it. Stay here with your breath. Check in. If it goes silent for a few moments, where does your mind take you? Can you be with your thoughts? Like, can you be here? Thinking about what's actually happening on your mat, your body, the stretch, the vitality you've created. Feel all of that. Dial into it. Whatever you've got to do in 10 minutes from now, like let that be 10 minutes from now, not here. Breathe in, breathe out. Sweep your back leg around, take seated single leg extension. If you're on your back, you can just stay on your back and switch sides. We're only gonna be here for a couple breaths. It's just a nice pose after pigeon. So. Right foot to your inner left thigh with the knee bent at a 90 degree bend. You can see that, yeah, and then fold over the left leg. Just draw it down, chest towards your thigh, crown of the head towards your toes. Open that inner thigh, press the right knee down. Yeah, and really draw nice and deep into the fold here. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back up, switch sides. Hip pose on the left. Set it up. You can flow through, you can just switch legs, whatever you need to get there. Just do it intentionally. Land in it and then breathe. Thoughts pop up, that happens. Distractions might be there, right? You might have dogs running around, you might have kids running around, you might have noisy neighbors. Whatever it is that might pop up. Just the universe giving you an opportunity, right? List that distraction, or do you stay in your practice? You wander off is like every moment, every millisecond that your thoughts wander off, you have to take time to bring them back. Right? And the less time you spend doing that, the more time you're actually just present, the more you're taking away from the time you spend in your yoga practice. Dialed in, tapped into your body. And there's no room for anything else. It's liberating. Just make the choice to be here and then commit to it. Every time your thoughts wander, you have a choice. Dwell in that or let it go. It's kind of a new practice for you to be in that work, and it might not be as easy as you think it should be, right? The thoughts pop back up again. You just let them go again and again. So they don't have the same control, the same power over your thoughts. They don't take up as much space. Just work at it, breath by breath. Right here, right now. Sweep your back leg around, seated single leg extension. 
you've been on your back, you can go right into an inversion or you can take a seated forward fold if you want to come up. Nobody's choice. Maybe here, so just taking again left foot to inner right thigh here, and I'm going to turn and square my body over the right leg. Fold here. Draw the crown of your head towards your toes. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck. Let's melt into it. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Come up to sit. Take a quick forward fold. Draw the sit bones back. Make some space there. Tailbones in the back of the room. Fold over your legs. Keep the legs active. Heels press forward. Belly button swoops in. Lengthen. You can grab onto your feet or your ankles and kind of pull if that feels nice. Never pulling to where you're forcing anything, but it might just help to lengthen you, take you deeper into the fold. Come up. Move on to your back if you're not already there. Take an inversion. Waterfall, right? You take a block, place it underneath your low back. This is where I'll stay today. If you want shoulder stand, it's bringing the hands to the low back, right? You lift the hips up. Try to stack joints here. So ankles over knees, over hips, over shoulders. As best as you can. Breathe here. Whatever you want. If your hips are on the block, just let your feet. Kind of go, you don't have to keep them active. Sleeping here is an option as well. You reach the arms up in the heart fall. Wherever you want to be, a few breaths here, starting to wind down. Maybe still wanting some fire, right? This can be a headstand, shoulder stand can be plenty of work for sure. Breathe through whatever it is. Catch your thoughts and bring them back. Plow can move, or sorry, shoulder stand can move into plow and deaf man's pose. If you're in waterfall, just bend the knees. Keep your knees over your hips, but let the feet dangle. Sleeping bear's arms can come down. And then down onto your back, move into supine twist here. Straighten out your left leg, draw the right knee into your chest. And then draw your right knee across your body. Keep both shoulders grounding down. Nice, nice deep twist. Breathe in. Kind of guide that left hand down your outer right thigh to deepen that a little bit. Again, never forcing anything. You can kind of guide yourself deeper. Come back through center. Switch sides. Square the hips. Bring them back to center your tailbone and then draw the left knee in. Pull it across the body. Keep your shoulders down. Side body, low back. Getting space. Breathe. In and out. Come back to center. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. 
opportunities open up. So a few breaths, get present right here, land. Set yourself up for deep rest. All right, and clear, like really important to get clear on whatever might be there. Trying to take your attention. It's a physical thing, like your body around you in the room. It's a mental distraction, whatever it is, be aware of it. Just set the intention for these next few minutes to work to let it go as often as it pops up. Like if it's like a physical distraction, like a little one or a pet, it's not like being mean about it, not like getting upset about it, that there's a distraction, just like compassionately, patiently, not letting it take away from your practice. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. One last breath in, hug it nice and tight, and then you'll take Shavasana. Close your eyes and rest. Deep breath, set yourself up so you want to feel like your alignment is comfortable. There's nothing weird there, but do that at the beginning and then just be in stillness. If the urge to fidget physically or mentally pops up, just work to let it go. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a full body stretch on your breath in. Lengthen your whole body. Stretch it out and then roll onto your right side. In the fetal position for a moment. And come up to a seated position with your eyes still closed. Sitting up tall. Hands at the center of your chest. We'll finish our practice with it all together. Breathe in. Ooh. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center. Together we bow and we say, Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me, Yogi. I appreciate it. Um, if anyone is out there with me live, please let me know how the sound was. I guess I can go check it after, but uh, my mic died halfway through, so I'm interested to know how it sounded without that working with me. But yeah, I do this every Sunday at 9 a.m. Lots of great stuff. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with anybody. And um, this week I'm going to be doing a hamstring flow. I'm going to be doing a, like a frog mini challenge, like mini workshop kind of challenge. I'm going to see how long I can hold it and talk through it. And uh, also, I'm not sure what the other one was this week. I got something else fun planned, but I don't remember what it was. So, yeah, so check it out. Please subscribe and uh, have an awesome rest of your day. Get out there and enjoy the beautiful weather. Actually, like me today. I will see you again really soon. Thank you. Let me check this here. I end the stream, but I stay and watch the chat for a minute just so that the um, the time on the video is not too long yet, but thank you for practicing with me if you're here with me live and have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you soon.